I'm Mark Kemp. I graduated in 1996 um, with a B Honours in Design and Craft. Fortitude Studio is a brand and digital agency, and of course, based in Scotland, we have clients all around the country. Uh, from an early age, I wanted to be a graphic designer, um, and uh, I'd applied after after school, I'd finished S6 at school, and I applied for uh, Dundee Art School. I, kind of, I got into Dundee, and I can't remember the reason only why I refused it in the end. It was either a girlfriend or just my circle of friends, or just being a homebody, perhaps. But I, decided not to go to Dundee that year and had to wait a year to apply for Grace School of Art. So we did a foundation course at Aberdeen College at the time, which I really enjoyed and met life friends there as well. So it was very worthwhile, but yeah, that's my journey. I think it was it was the realization that um, that was lots of other people like me who wanted to be designers, wanted to be creators. Uh, I, I was on the first day meeting people from all around the country um, and having so much in common with them. Right from the beginning, it was a bit of an eye opener. Um, you know, we, we all have an experience at school, we have a kind of a network of friends. You know, there's only ever two or three of you into art, into design. It's very a shallow pool. So you feel you don't have that side of your life, you don't share with many people. And suddenly you go to art school and everybody's Everybody's like that. So I think that it was just that realization that, oh wow, there are lots of other people out there. And I think it set it up. It set the whole tone of art school well for me to know that I was amongst kind of kindred spirits, so to speak. I was fortunate that kind of when, I, when I was in my final year, I got to do some freelance work. So I was kind of torn at the beginning whether I just carry on and do freelance work or I looked for a, for a career. Um, so I did a bit of both, I did a bit of freelance. And I just, you know, this was 1996 where you didn't have the internet in your room, so in your house at that time. So it was yellow pages and writing letters and I got a few interviews. And then within a couple of months, I got my first job in mid nineties for anybody who was around then. It was the start of what was called new media then. It was where businesses, design agencies were taking on web design and multimedia CD-ROMs back when that was a thing. So it was actually for a, for a, multimedia, a local multimedia company. Um, so it was really exciting because it felt like I was at the start of a kind of a new type of career. Suddenly digital was going to be the thing and it stayed with me ever since that point. So yeah, it was writing letters in yellow pages. I worked in agencies all my career. Um, I kind of been promoted through different roles to the point where I was kind of director of a business. Um, and it was time, it was time to do something else. I'd kind of I'd hit that ceiling, you know, there's only so much you can do in other people's businesses. So I decided Christmas 2015 was the time to strike out on my own. So over that period of time, which I loved in hindsight, but actually it feels quite crazy to think you 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 know you resign from a position at Christmas time. Um, started Forty Studio. Um, I was fortunate that I had a roster of clients and I had a, a core team to begin with. So I wasn't leaving to start my own. I wasn't being free, I wasn't working freelance. I was leaving a team and starting with a team. So it meant that the first week back in 2016, we were full on. We were full on creative team working um, across a variety of projects and clients from day one. So in terms of what we do year on year, we offer uh, placements, internships, work experience to students within any organisation really. Obviously we've got close ties with Grace School of Art, we've also got close ties with Dundee, with Northern College, with various other kind of educational um, 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 organisations. Um, offering paid placements, which again I think is an important part, paying students to come in and, and help out is an important part of what we do. Offering advice, mentoring, reviewing portfolios, doing guest talks uh, throughout the year um, at schools, at universities, college is, is part of, of, of our plan to stay, to be, be part of it. I think it's um, industry has a responsibility, just as education has a responsibility to make sure that there's some connective tissue there. You know, my business, this industry, as any business, as any industry wouldn't survive without new talent coming into the field. So if we want to attract the best talent, if we want to retain the best talent, 
then we have to offer something that makes them want to stay. And I think what is missing in the city is a bit of a creative community within a commercial creative businesses. Um, and whilst you know absolutely digitally we need to be able to support that we need to you know have those relationships from a social media perspective from a digital perspective um because that's how we work now we work remotely you know a lot of the time having a good space to work a good space to collaborate with like-minded people being surrounded with uh, by others who understand what it is you're doing and, and how you're working i think is a huge part of entities development a huge part of of nurturing that next level of talent. So when we were looking for our own studio space to grow into, looking for a unique building for us to kind of create our, the, the studio space we needed to, to perform and to work together, um, it was decided to look for a bigger space so that we could um, offer some of that space to practitioners, existing and new, um, to come and collaborate and get a new. So, We've moved in here, we've been in here for a few months now, we're settled in nicely. The next part of the plan is we've got a space upstairs that has been converted into a photo studio that we need for our own work. We need we need space to, to do some shoots and, and, and um, support our clients, but we're going to offer that to the broader creative community offer students and grads to come in and use it for free and you know if they've got some project that they need some studio space to kind of take some shots and do some footage for them we'll offer that that's our first kind of collaborative space we're offering it seems a long time ago now but back in 2019 um, we were running out of studio space in our previous um, office space and I'd always considered once it was time I'd, I'd look to buy somewhere rather than we set out just more flexibility and then also had this idea of a creative hub so we're looking for a sizable space and um, it, was, it would have been Mother's Day 2019 my mum lives around the corner from here from Midstock and we were walking past the building um, on the way to somewhere for, for lunch and there's a big for sale sign up and it's a building, you know, mum's lived near it for 20 odd years. Um, one of my buses that went to town from my childhood home used to pass here sometimes. So it's a building that oddly was always in my peripheral vision. And I have a, I have a, a certain taste for this, this period of history, the, you know, that kind of mid-century brutalist architecture. Um, I'd always kind of had a love of it anyway. So I arranged a meeting with the agent, came in, saw the staircase, and that was the decision made. The Abbey's not been very good. It's a Scottish trait, but it's probably more so in the northeast. Not very good at putting a head above the parapet, not very good at talking about ourselves. I think Aberdeen has proven in the past you know, number of years that culturally we've moved on a lot. You know, everything from obviously the redeveloped art gallery through to Spectra Festival and obviously New Art every year now has proven that you know, not as a city we we crave culture and um, and the creative aspect of that is central. Where my kind of um, appetite lies is to make sure that commercially the design agencies, the more commercial aspect of creativity in the city is better represented and that we are a bit more confident in talking about it. There's a huge amount of great work happens in the city. Um, too often all the work that's mentioned is oil and gas or energy related and whilst yes of course there's a lot of that work happens because you get the work that's available in the city. We're also, you know, on the doorstep of Scotland's larder. We're also on the doorstep of tourism. We're also on the doorstep of a lot of sectors and a lot of good work and good industries where there's not a designer or, or, or agency in the city isn't working across those sectors. The general understanding of how design uh, can add value to your business is, is probably never been more sophisticated. I think more and more people understand the value of it. More and more people, perhaps because they're, we're facing more of it every day. You know, we're inundated with marketing and brands and design every day. And all our favorite um, products, all favorite brands have design at the center of them, at part of the conversation of, of a lot of the brands that, as a, as a general public we buy, have design at the very centre of it. So I would say that the, the understanding of the value design is, is, is greater than ever. Um, 
it's also because of the, because of technology it is, it is adapting and changing even ever more rapidly. If we look at you know the sectors of the industry I'm in from a kind of from a brand and graphic design perspective, you know the changes that moved from original print and press through to hot lead press through to electric press, electric press in the seventies. Those technological changes took generations. Technology changes now are happening almost yearly, and when we think about the next stage with AI and everything else going to offer, so I think the speed in which we're all having to adapt is, is vastly different now. And with that expectation, um, the more people understand about the value of design, the more they expect value out of design. So we as an industry, as individuals, need to make sure that we, we temper that, we add value to that, and we, you know, we ensure we play our part with that, with, that, with that evolution. So design, in its essence, has never changed combination of form and function that should add value to life and to your life in some capacity so the the, the the point of design has never changed but the expectation of it is vastly different the, the biggest lesson i've learned is that you, you really whatever you want to do in your career in the years to come and you won't know when you start out what you where ultimately you're going to end up but the contacts you make the people you work with at the beginning of your career will stay with you during that time if you work well with people if you if you if you if you look to kind of harness those relationships when it comes time to let's say branch out and start your own business it's those early relationships that you make at the beginning that are steadfast and what i try and say to any student starting out is remember that you're starting now you're building those relationships now those collaborations now because you'll need them in 10 20 years time the best work comes from when you're working with a, a team Yes, design, there's aspects of the design process that's absolutely individual and you are siloed. There's a, a point in any project where a, a designer or a developer is staring at a blank screen and has to start. Um, but there's also a lot of the, st the stages you go through need that team collaboration and need others to, to work alongside. So I would say always look to work with good people. Good people first rather than creative people first. Look for the look for good eggs. Look for good people to work with, whether that's colleagues, collaborators, whatever it is. Surround yourself with good people, and you tend to enjoy the work. And if you're enjoying the work, work tends to be better.